Hi, I'm Vicki Heyman with the University of Wyoming Extension. And today, we are going to learn how to make a great smoothie. There's a proper order for making a wonderful smoothie, and I will demonstrate it today. Today's smoothie is a green mango smoothie. So, I've got a recipe, and it'll be posted so that you can print it and have the recipe. And also, there's a diagram, in case you forget, of the proper steps to put a great smoothie together. In our blender, the first thing we want to do is add our liquid. For this recipe, I'm just going to use milk, but you can use any other non-dairy item, juice, tea, coffee, whatever you like. The next thing you add are dry ingredients. Now this can be protein powders, anything for flavors, spices, extracts, whatever you would like. I don't have anything to add to this recipe, so we'll skip to the next step, which is adding our greens. Now this is a green mango smoothie, so we're gonna add a cup of spinach, and I promise you won't taste the spinach, although you will see the pretty green color. Now this could be replaced with kale or anything else you like. But if you're using something like kale, you want to remove the stems and especially anything that's woody. But spinach is very easy to blend up. So I go ahead and include the stems unless they're really long. Now I've secured my lid and I'm going to mix for a little bit because I don't want big chunks of greens in my smoothie. So I blend in a couple steps. Here we go. I think it looks pretty good. Yes, it does. Now, the reason we do this at this point in time again is because you want those dry ingredients to get in there and to hydrate with the liquid and you want the greens to be really chopped up so that you don't have chunks. Now the next thing I would add is nut butter. It could be yogurt, tofu, any other soft ingredient you have would go in next. I don't have a soft ingredient at this point in time with this recipe. so. I'll go on to adding fruit. Now I have fresh fruit that goes in next, and I have a banana chopped up. It could be soft veggies, it could be seeds or nuts at this point in time, but I wanna get that soft item in there next. And last but not least would be ice or frozen fruit or anything frozen, could be frozen veggies. I want the heavy stuff to go in last because it's gonna push down those other ingredients and make it easier to blend. I have my lid secured, so we're gonna take a few minutes and blend. <laughs> to check and see if everything is nice and smooth. If not, I'll blend some more. I still have a few chunks of frozen mango, so let's continue with the blending. be good enough. If I have a little frozen chunk, it won't bother me. It's just an added bonus in my opinion. So let's go over the steps one more time. You put in your liquids, your dry ingredients, any greens that you might have, soft ingredients such as nut butters or yogurt, any fresh fruits or veggies or seeds go in, 
and then you top it off with ice or frozen fruit. Let's take a look and see how this green mango smoothie is. As you can see, it's very green. Now to me, it has a wonderful texture. If it was to be too thick, I would add more liquid. If it's a little thin, I may add a little more fruit or something like yogurt or nut butter to thicken it up. Now let's take a sip and see how it tastes. Mmm, it's wonderful. Now, if it's too tart, add a sweetener. You can add honey, you can add maple syrup, or anything that you choose to use. A liquid just mixes up better than a granule. So if it's a granulated sweetener, add it in the beginning so that it's sure to dissolve. Here's to making a great, wonderful smoothie. You can use any fruits or vegetables that are pleasing to your taste. And this is especially good way to use produce that's not in its prime. So if your vegetables or your fruits are getting a little dated and a little wrinkled, throw them in a smoothie. Thank you.